Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shannon Ashley here and today I wanted to do another Mascara Monday. So this Monday we're going to review the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. Now this is a lash lifting and lengthening washable mascara. It retails for about $12.99 depending on where you go. I'm just looking on L'Oreal's website right now and it comes in black is black as well as black brown. So just wanted to talk about what it does. It says it's an instant lash lift effect. It is an intense lengthening mascara. So as you guys see me applying the mascara to my lashes, I can say that it definitely does lift my lashes from the bottom. And as far as the lengthening goes, I'm not... It lengthens, but not to the point where I know my eyelashes can be lengthened. The thing about this mascara for me is that as it lengthens, it doesn't do a good job of completely separating out my lashes. I feel like when it applies, it looks good, but as it dries down, my lashes get a little intertwined. It says that this mascara is inspired by the makeup artist hack of bending a mascara wand for adding control and ease of application. I kept forgetting that this mascara wand bends, and to be honest, it's not my favorite thing. I think I would have to kind of play around with it more. I do see how it can kind of curl your lashes um, and add a little bit more control, but it's just a little unorthodox to my hand right now, so I kind of had to put it back, but I did like that the wand does blend. Um, so yeah, it says the wand is a two position wand, can be used straight or bent to customize your lash look. I do agree with that. It says the bendable brush also makes application precise and effortless, allowing access to harder to reach inner and quarter lashes. The stretchable formula glides on the lashes and builds up look without clumps, flakes. Mascara can hold for up to 24 hours. Would never wear mascara for 24 hours. I have before, but it's just not smart. I hate falling asleep with mascara on. So talking about falling asleep with mascara on, I will touch upon how this mascara removes in a little bit. I did think this mascara wasn't easy to apply. Because the formula is drier, it does make it easier for it not to clump up so much. I feel like sometimes when formulas are too wet, that's when clumping starts so it was a good mixture of like dry but not too dry wet but not too wet i do think because of the wand this is a good mascara that you can curl your lashes with if you're like really into that bendable wand me not so much yet um personally i thought the wand was a little unnecessary just because i am so unorthodox with it but i think if i used it more i would get used to it but i'm just like i don't know it still wasn't my favorite i could honestly go without but I do think that if you had shorter lashes, this could be a game changer. When you first take it out of the container, it is a little bit messy. I don't know if it's how the container is, like how it's bigger at the bottom. So there's like a lot more mascara to mush around and maybe the wiper isn't as strong. Um, but that was a little, it's a little messy when you first take it out, but it doesn't bother me as much because I just wipe it off. Um, but for me, this is like an everyday mascara. You can build it up for a night out look, but for me, it's more just so of an everyday found or an everyday mascara for me. I think it's easy to build and create dramatic lashes, but it's not just like a one mascara. Like I would use this in combination with another mascara. Like I said earlier, for lengthening my lashes, it didn't do the, it lengthened them, but I don't think the formula was strong enough to keep my eyelashes from intertwining like twining as you guys will see after i curl up my lashes it could be just how i curl up my lashes but my lashes after i curled them kind of look like intertwined and frail isn't a mascara i could use with the eyelash curler at the end which is what i normally do i probably just have to switch up my routine but i don't think that the formula was strong enough to like lengthen and keep my lashes lengthen throughout an entire day so for my final review of this mascara i'm going to rate it on application the wand the formula my lash results and whether or not i would repurchase again so as far as application, I will give this, um, like that's a point I will give it. I really like the application just because I like how the formula was, um, but we'll get into the formula in a second. I just liked how it didn't clump. As for the wand, I love the wand, um, like the brittle, the bristles or whatever you wanna call it in itself. This is like one of my favorite types of wands. The packaging, a lot of people complained about, they thought it was unnecessary. I thought it was cute. Um, so a packaging, I will give it a point for. As for the formula, I'll give it a point for this as well because like I said, it doesn't clump um, and it's buildable. I will say on my left eye, as you guys saw, it did start to clump, but that's because I didn't completely wipe the brush out before I started 
doing like my backlash curl type of thing that I like to do. So I will put that on myself and not the brush because I think if I would have wiped it, it would have came out okay. As for my lash results, like I said, I liked how everything applied, but after I used my eyelash curler, my lashes just got really intertwined. So I wanna say that this is just an everyday mascara for me. And because it couldn't give me like that oomph, that I was looking for, I'm not gonna give it a point for my overall lashes results. And the fifth point, would I repurchase it? Yes, I would repurchase this for an everyday mascara just because I think it does a good job of separating my lashes and I don't really look to lengthen my lashes every day. So overall, I give this mascara a four out of five, which is like a B, so it's it's pretty decent. But that's all I have for this mascara, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Check the playlist for more mascara reviews in the link below, and I will see you guys next Monday for a new mascara review. Oh, and feel free to comment below letting me know which new mascaras you would like me to try out. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.